because I got a little uh, confused there. I didn't put it into landscape mode. So uh, let me do a quick spin around so you can see. You can hear Bob, obviously. That's how you know he's here. Quite a decent turnout. We're, um, we've had the place opened up again, so there aren't the bollards. Yeah, man like H, have a look. There is literally no black visible on, on display, as it were. So that I did think of you, funny enough, when I was getting dressed. So, um, yeah, I feel special. Anywho, let's have a, let's have a little look, see. Bob's banging on about something. Hi. Still that guy in it. All right, Debit. Bob! What's happening? Tiger. Hello. Ariel, God bless you. Let's see who we can terrorise slash evangelise. One of the two. Hi. Uh, is it Victoria? Hi. Just Thank you, kill pride before pride kills you. I am ignoring him because I don't know what you're talking about. Sorry, everybody. I don't care. I don't know. I don't even know who he is. Oh, well. It's an open-air asylum, babe. Right, let's see who it is. Ah, oh, it's the uh, Citizen Smith of the Shia Brigade. The one who got boxed in the face last week. He has yet to learn, obviously. Let me see. Ah, oh, bless him. Let's get a... Uh, let's have a look. They do! Right. <laughs> okay. Let me look. Let me walk like an employee of the Lord. I don't know the difference in the uh, stride. But... Uh, not very close for social distancing. Right, any trouble spaces there? Couldn't be because there are. Uh, I don't know. Somewhat aggressive. Very odd body language. It's Andy speaking. To you. I don't know who this. Uncle Asif. Oh, here we go. It's more shame on shame on. Let me just go stand with me. Oh, sorry, mate, you're in speakers good now. Yeah. You are, you are. You just have a look at the sign. Do you see how many cameras there are around? Go home if you have a problem. Yeah? I do. I have the intention of putting you on my camera. If he has a problem, he can go home. Yes, yeah? that's the law, actually. Yeah. That's the section 29C that's right. of the Public that's Order Act. That's right. No, but that's respect. There's respect. There is respect. And, and you heckling my brother is not respectful. How? When he's been following the old man for about an hour. So old man. So he's right here now. I don't need to come on. You're not making a very good case. Is that right? Wow. Wow. Do you know what the, do you know what the Bible says about calling people that? Oh, what? Everybody, it's official. Yeah, I swear you're Is it? Do you swear? Yeah, I swear. You are, yeah. Well, it must be true then, because you look like an intellectual. You must be an idiot. You must be. Well, you must be an idiot. He heard idiot. I said intellectual. How uh, Freudian is that? What a little chief. Anyway, so there's a... Uh, I don't know what this guy is. He talks about Israel, etc. I know. <laughs> That's the first The first time I ever came to the park, I came... Uh, he didn't really need it now, I think, back. But I went in a... Asif was in the middle of a whole big group getting... Um, oh, they were doing some really bad, like, Indian, you know, head bobbles and... Uh, calling him a cow worshipper and all of that and uh yeah I, jumped, I went in the middle thanks debit when you're coming down again babes i can't remember now you did tell me but uh it went straight in the um to be filed later in my brain but is it i think it's next month i might be just talking absolute nonsense thanks i can't even see the chat so i'm, I'm waiting on an answer that will never come all right, getting trolled. I can do it. I can deal with it. Let's go back and trigger the same. Ah, oh, brilliant. Let's trigger the same bloke again. Let's do it. Oh no, he's left us if alone. That was my uh, my point. <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. Villagas, because I can't pronounce your first name. I don't know if it's a y or a j or a f. 
Oh, there are no. I don't know of any verses that make him seem perfect, apart from if you're obeying him as a separate entity, then you would have to obey the satanic verses, um, even though they're not allegedly from Ella. I mean, it's a bit difficult to, to denote which ones of them are satanic because of the uh, content, really. I would say crucifying people, chopping their arms and legs off, fighting unbelievers, humiliating them, making them pay protection money, etc. Shalom Aleichem, Aleichem Shalom even. Crack beer. Tech. Oh, uh, Alan's snack bar. Yeah. Right, let's, oh, this is nut nut. Let's go and have a little look, see. Nut to the Protestants, surely to God, if you're just reading the Bible and doing what you said, I know you are. Yeah, I'm live streaming, I've watched. Fight! No, sorry, I'm joking. I would win. Just saying. Right, so I'm looking for Mark. There he is, I just looked straight past him. I've got that booklet for you, Mark. Hold on, let me just rearrange my uh, refreshments. So you're going to have to come with me, everyone. Right. Talk among yourselves. Sorry. Here we go. There you go. It's in there. It's it's under the section that says the unlettered prophet, and it literally brings up Hitler and uses Hitler as an endorsement for Mo. It's it's on the right one of the right hand pages, somewhere in the middle potentially, and it says the unlettered prophet. He had neither uh, degree. That's exactly it. So there's the mind camp mentioned there. And then it's basically Hitler's. Uh, can you believe it? It's hilarious. It's one of my favourite things now. Every time I see that book, I get another one. Oh, I'm going to leave you to ponder the wisdom of Hitler uh, or uh, Mohammed, whatever. And uh, yeah, go for a little wander with my peeps. Uh, let me put the live chat back on and sort my hair out by the look of it. I love a little snack bar. I love a little snack, to be fair. Craw, um, Junior. Nice one, Billy Gas. Junior, even. Um, Craw, Bob is. He's over there. Uh, ooh, sugar. There you go. I think I'm going to just uh, Shanghai you all and go and sit in a little quiety bit for a minute near the snack bar, funnily enough. Um, yeah, and then we'll go back in again. Could talk about Jesus for a little while. Love a bit of Jesus. Oh, I've got to show you. It's, oh, bless them. That's the Catholic Evidence Guild. Uh, all two of them. I shouldn't, I shouldn't mock, but it's kind of like my default setting. So, yeah, his voice is like pretty foghornish. Uh, right, let's get, let's get ourselves out. They've still not got the benches out. There were like at least 3,000 people here yesterday. Hi, Jesus, Jesus is risen. It's K. K, K, K. Not K, 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 obviously. <laughs> I don't have a white hood. I don't burn crucifixes, but it is K A Y, as in K, not Kate. Kate is a lovely name, but it's not mine. All right, let's sit down in the bit that is least like rubbishy. All right, and I've got a tripod on the bottom of this stick thing, which is unreal. JC just gave me it, so I'm quite excited. But if I put you down, you'll just be looking up my nose. So, oh, maybe I could balance you, or oh my gosh, I can. I've cracked it, people. That's it, I've got both hands free for a, um, well, let's not discuss terrible habits. Ah, I see, brilliant. Hi, Shadowborn. Yeah, autocorrect, ducking autocorrect, that's what I say. Uh, but I'm trying not to swear, actually. So, please do let me know if I slip up, or don't, like, let's not take that seriously, I can <laughs> I can police myself, and I can please myself as well. Where is my, ah, here we go. Right, so, pick a topic, any theological topic you like, shalom. Uh, 
stuff for Ella. Someone's screaming. Um, and keep you posted on this one because a lot of people are walking really quickly towards. I can't get over there in time. Something just went. Something happened. But uh, I don't know if anyone else is live streaming. Trinity in the Old Testament. I've got uh, jumping like a monkey. I have. Uh, two videos already so one is the plurality in the Old Testament and one begins the triunity within the Old Testament oh could you hear it Deborah? yeah it was pretty uh, heartfelt screaming but as far as I can see hmm, JC I think is still like stationary where he was so but yeah I do have another couple of bits thanks for reminding me on uh, Trinity in the Old Testament I've got all the notes and everything there I just have to uh do it basically so that's a topic for, a, for pretty much another time although there are many instances um yeah any other topics sorry you can choose again no. thank you thanks jay yeah i saw your comment about that i'll just start on the telephone directory next week you'll be loving life I'll be putting you asleep every night but yeah um what's been on my mind to speak about obviously persecution never ends um maybe maybe like some lockdown stuff and some you know vaccine related stuff but i don't want to like unduly influence anyone so that's why i kind of steer clear of it a little bit but theologically i've been looking at uh purgatory really dragon i don't know i wouldn't go that far he's pretty conspiratorial like he does love a little theory but um, yeah, I've been looking at the uh, doctor, the concept of purgatory and uh, refuting it, like going around and finding Bible verses that disprove it. So I won't do that on air, like as in now, because I don't have the notes are on the phone that I'm looking at. But um, that will be coming soon. So any Catholics, I do apologise in advance for shattering your hopes of a painful afterlife <laughs> waiting room. But the Bible is pretty clear to be fair so um so there's that yay just straight to judgment love it love it hate waiting around oh can't bear it like some sort of beetle juice waiting room with your little ticket number dragon you know at the end of the day the bible does say you can insult the son of man uh and and it will be forgiven but uh not not the holy spirit universalism can you expand on that shadow born 74 like what do you want my opinion on if that makes sense or can you give me like a brief maybe a definition or how it how it might uh counter any christian worldview because really universalism could be catholicism i don't know if that's what you're saying or you mean like a philosophical concept it is true dragon we have to pray for him because uh yeah, I can't do anything for him. So I know a guy who can. Uh, it's the guy who he's saying is Lucifer. Maybe he's a Mormon now. Maybe he's gone all weird. M more weird, should I say. So, in a moment, I'm just going to pull my New Testament out of my bag. And, uh, yeah, I'll beat with you. So I liked that film. I liked uh, Jump in the Line. You know, that tune when they're all around the table. Hi, Andrew. Yes, yeah, so, okay, let me just look at my... Oh, I tell you what, wow, well, you got a choice. Okay, number one is for persecution stats rather than stories. And number two is I get my teensy-weensy New Testament out of my bag and just choose a random verse and then waffle a bit about it. Obviously in a very well-educated, Holy Spirit-led fashion. Okay, Jordan is in the lead with the... Wow, okay then. Little Bible it is then. I'm going to do persecution stuff. Oh, by the way, everybody, I'll give it, I'll, I'll give it to, I'll, I'll pub, uh, make it available to the members first, but only by a few hours. I have my debate with Bob from last week. I have it rendered and uploaded. I just have to unlist it, give it to the members and then uh, fully unlist it, like, uh, uh, sorry, publish it. And um, that'll be good. I also have uh, Michael and I, who's, I'm all right, thanks for, Michael and I, who is, uh, a guy who comes here sporadically not there's there's a good few michaels who come here 
but I did a short vid with him and I've got a persecution vid that I was remiss and didn't upload. Well, when I say I was remiss, I mean JC, but you know. Oh, I've got tea stains somehow on my little tiny Bible. Never mind. Okay, so say when. Oh, no, you'd have to type it. Okay, I'm just going to open it around about the middle. And it is. Jeez, oh, it is time for my glasses to come out because it is very teensy winksy little Bible. Sorry, chaps and chapesses. <laughs> you want lesions, that guy? Or you want autocorrect? Okay. Uh, in fact, that now I'm cheating because I just looked and I was like, oh, we've read all about that. So let's look for some Jesus words in red. Yes, I got it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do this one. Uh, so Jesus answered. So let me just skip back one page to find out who he was talking to, what he was saying. Oh my gosh, it's all Jesus. I love Luke. Okay. Now there were some presents. Jesus answered do you think that these Galileans were worse sinners than all the other Galileans because they suffered this way I tell you no but unless you repent you too will all perish or those 18 who died when the tower in Siloam fell on them do you think they were more guilty than all the others living in Jerusalem I tell you no but unless you repent you will all too perish and then he told a parable so, with regards to that, I guess what I like, a, just on a surface level, without any commentary, what I take from that is that uh, death is the the wages of sin is death, and therefore, whether you die tragically or you know, in inverted commas, accidentally, or everyone is deemed to perish unless they have the blood of Christ, unless you know, because he came, you know, John three sixteen. God came, uh, sent his son, that none should perish, but only those who believe in him will not perish. And unfortunately, we know that there will be those who don't don't get that. Uh, they Everyone has the opportunity, because even as we see, uh, you know, nature tells us the divinity of God and the existence of God and the reality of God. Not everyone who calls out Lord, Lord. I'm just going to go with Jesus, I reckon. I'm not even going to say Lord, Lord, just in case. I'm only joking. But yeah, not everyone who calls will be delivered but um but yeah what else have I got to say about that love a parable he was just about to go into a parable I think I did a little rant about parables the other day he never says anything in secret he never ever uh yeah he does he's not like a you know like a politician of some description he does there are times when he speaks arbitrarily but that's usually to his accusers and things like that when he says um you know it's been said in your law. He said to them, ye are as gods, meaning when God spoke to the judges. Um, so why therefore do you accuse me of blasphemy? Because I say I am the son of God. So it's a kind of roundabout answer. He could have just gone, yeah, but he didn't. Hang on a minute. Let me come back to the comment. No, I didn't see any of your. No, no, I'm not really paying attention to the comments at the moment, Raw. So, but anyway, where was I? Lost my train of thought. The judges so Jesus is not saying you are gods because very recently Stephen Furtick I don't know if anyone's heard of him I uh, was like what he said um, that when Mo when uh, God said to Moses I am what he actually meant is as you are I am so this dude whoever he is I don't know him but he looks like a bit of a I don't know he doesn't look it he sounds it um, like he sounds like he's seriously in error because uh, Jesus, you know, for one, that is not what Yahweh said. Um, and that's not what he meant. I've never read any sort of commentary that says that. And also, um, even though Jesus does quote that passage, he doesn't say it to the people who he's speaking to. He says it is said to them, meaning the them that is uh, in the Old Testament there. So, so yeah. Furtick, Stephen Furtick. So, yeah, that's not true, Stephen. Um, yeah. He said, KL, that when Moses said, tell them I am has sent you, in, in that little dialogue between Yahweh and Moses, he's saying that uh, what Yahweh meant is that you are as I am. 
meaning you're gods and I'm God, which is twaddle. It's twaddle. It's twaddle. It's, I can't think of any better way to, well, I can, but I'm trying not to swear. You understand? It's not good. One bit. It's kind of blasphemous. It's pretty antichrist. It's, um, it's not a good look for Jesus, Mr. Furtick, whoever you are, because I haven't heard him preach before until I saw that clip. Um, but he looks a bit hill songy, like I don't know, like a bit. Uh, what's that other one? Joel Osteen, that kind of vibe. Like, yeah, nah, nah. But um, anyway, well, now that I've just slated a big time Christian preacher, um, what I will do is, what I'll do is walk and smoke at the same time because I'm pretty uh, multifaceted like that. So hold up, oh, if I can get my back on my back. Uh, and then I can light it off camera, so that's good. Let's have a go. What, what's that Quran verse then? <laughs> yeah, the Quran it, the Quran encourages all sorts of satanic drivel. I don't that verse didn't. Yeah, I didn't consider it that way. But Allah guides who He guides, and He pretty weird. Uh, yeah, so let's get a wriggle on down to the other end of the park. I'm going to show you the sights while I just uh, completely randomly put something to my mouth and uh, inhale. The little Catholic guild over there now with three members. One of them, definitely a Catholic, I know that for sure. Well, two of them, the one on the ladder, I'd take a good guess at. Hi, whoever that last comment was from, so it disappeared as I turned around. Oh, it's just starting to rain. No, whoever that last comment was from. Hang on. Still that guy in it. No, that's not what he said, bro. He was saying, you are God's. He was saying that's what Yahweh said. He's putting words in God's mouth that are pretty, like, weird. Because Elohim, which is the verse used, I think, in the Psalms, it is the Psalms, can mean judges, and it can mean mighty as well. It's translated both ways in the Old Testament. So, you know, it is said that you are judges. He's speaking to people with poor judgment, those who are overseers of Israel. So it makes sense that he would say, you, you know... You are judges. Even if he says you are gods, he means small g. Satan is, is called God with a small g. You see, it's like a bit, it's a slippery slope. The weather, it's not cold at all, no. But it is, um, I just felt one little speck of rain. We're going to see what's going on down there. Because it's all a bit, yeah. Oh, brilliant. Thank you. God bless you. Oh, I thought he was going to slate me because he's young. <laughs> right, two seconds. Here we go. Aye, aye. Where's your donkey? Where's your donkey? There's the last up. Where's Bloody donkey? hell. Well, that, is, that is the claim to fame. That is every, yes, that's all I ever think of when I think of you. What's that mean? What happened, by the way? He got chinned last week. He got punched up twice in the face. Enough is enough. He's riling them up like you wouldn't believe. And then he's like, nah, what's all this? Put it all together, and he's saying, mate, I love put all that on the Sahabas. Oh, lovely. Ah, oh, well, seems legit. <laughs> well, good luck to him. He seems like he's going to need it. He's going to get rushed. Um, yeah. So, so that's that. So I've come down to see the crowd with you, and the crowd is all just like, bug it off, to put it quite simply. Let's follow him. Let's fo yeah, he's he's... He's more, um, not more game, but he, uh, he, there's no way he doesn't realise that he's like inflaming people. Look, see now they're all moaning to the old bill. No, he had a crime committed against him last week. He's a Shia, he likes to, no true, he starts trouble every time. Yeah, because they're all Sunnis, they're all Sunnis, not other against him, he's alright by me. 
they start picking him up. They never, yeah, no, they, they did it last week. They yeah, punched him in the face. They never start back. They start. Yeah, yeah, sure. Physically, but I have seen him rolling around on the floor over there, and I think he's tight. You know, never seen him. I'm good. I've been here every week. He hasn't seen me for a long time. Where's he been? Under a rock? Right, right. Yeah. Good, thank you. I'm in the middle of a live stream, but I'm just looking at what I'm going to... I've got some Johns on me in case anyone... I'll have that Lee Strobel, please. Sorry, everyone. I'll have two, yeah. One for me, one for Ron. Later, Ron. I'm just not long in the middle of... Take one of these, then. Brilliant. And if you meet anyone while you're chatting, you'll have a voice Lovely. All right, we're kids. All right, nice one. So that's the lady who organises monthly... Um, sure. Do everyone, do you want... Should we chat to Usman for a little while? How dumb. That's all right, no, you carry on. Oh, no, you're not. My camera's coming towards me. <laughs> no, he's all right, he's standing off camera. You're joking. It's out of, out of the order of things no, here. No, no, I don't want to strip. He can't do it without his uh, know, children. Know. Completely different then. Exactly. Well, yeah. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm on the sidelines as a phone a friend. Right, everybody. Here's a smum. Surah Alhamdulillah. Apparently, Mr. Brown, where are you? I don't know what comment that is for, but where are you, Mr. Brown? You're missing all this. All this lot. Following that Shia guy around. You might have rescued me, actually. She never listens to Yeah, he's being a dolphin. A young man, he's calling you. You notice that it's all scripted. Get out, get out. Well, they chant killer to Hatun, it doesn't mean they're right. Oh, God, Rust, give it a rest, you socialist twat. <laughs> Got the camera was there then. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm trying not to swear. I don't think twat can. I've said it twice now. I'm going to go with, I don't think it counts. But, oh, just, oh. He really irritates me. Yeah, they are. They are actually. Oh, where the heck is Bob? Like beamed up to. Oh, they've all moved off somewhere. That's bizarre. Maybe they moved away from all that drama. That is very odd. He's not over there. Is he? No, oh, I'd be able to hear him. And it is now raining. So it may be time to take the shades off my head in a minute. Hatun is over there, by the way. She's getting a break from the mob mentality by that sheer dude. There's my buddy who I dance and uh, sing with. Let's go and have a little look for Soko. So, uh, shalom. Yeah, let's have a little... Bizarre. I wonder if the rapture happened. Maybe they've gone over to the service. Seems equally unlikely at this point. That is really odd. I wonder. Okay, maybe I have to um, mow, mow in the middle with that melt. Get out. No, he's over there. Why should he get out? He ain't done nothing. I feel like he's... Ah! <laughs> W-bed. I've been killing time for three months till you got here. What's that mean? Do you know who's here? Do you know anything about this protest or something? Which one? Well, today? Like yeah, a day music like. protest or Oh. <laughs> um, People playing music or something on Regent's yesterday? Park or something. No, oh, today. Regent's Park? No, Regent's, Regent Street, sorry. It's only down there, isn't it? Yeah. Just literally, like, ten minutes stroll and then fling a right. I'm thinking I might even go and have a little check. Well, our liberty. What? We've been waiting for you all this time. I've just been talking twaddle till you got here, basically. Just killing time. <laughs> Arguing with people for nothing. It won't be waiting for me to come back on the scene, yeah? <laughs> without, a, without even a donkey. Can you believe? Look, no donkey, man. <laughs> 
all this is all long. Right. All my dreams are shattered. Mad. But no, I ain't heard nothing. I heard about yesterday's one. Yeah. I heard about yesterday's one, but he's mad. He needs to be really hit last time. I oh, know. But what's it? But why are you so bothered? Don't worry about it. He's fine. He again. No, he don't. He wants to have freedom of speech. You know the coup. <laughs> Such a so weird. People just like attributing motive all over the show. But no, JC seems to have literally been beamed up. Because he had a little retinue around him. He had Bob, he had these two younger brothers who came along before, who were, I think they were on camera with Ben before actually. That is so, ah, I found him. I found him, maybe Bob's gone for a toilet break or something. I found JC anyway. They give it to you free. Maybe if you are if you are rich or poor, you don't have I thought you'd been I thought the rapture had happened. I was looking around, I was thinking I can't hear Bob, what's happened? Okay, I'm going to watch the camera for a minute. Right, so here's Asif. What are you asking, Biblical Unitarian? Go and ask me again. I'm looking now. Sorry, babes. I got distracted by a lack of donkeys. Come on, spit it out, Buck. Yeah, Satan wants us all singing the same tune, KL. Okay, I've no, I, I, don't, I can't give an opinion unless you type it out again. But then again, it's not the end of the world. Yes, everyone, WBED is here. Can you believe the excitement? Right, Hamza. <laughs> Dazza says so. I mean, what? I mean, who am I to argue with the uh, the intellectual brilliance that is Darren? Yeah, I don't care what he says. Uh, he'd have to prove that there is no evidence, which is a bit of a harder case than to prove there is evidence. I've got extra scriptural evidence, if that helps, helps Darren out. <laughs> I've also got, um, is it flashing? No, it's not ready yet, is it? Yeah, so I've got extra biblical evidence, thanks. I've got um, faith. Ooh, I've got biblical. Uh, we've got historians, accounts. The proof of the Quran. Oh, you're not allowed to ask questions. Steady on there. Still that guy in it. Don't don't start asking questions at this stage of the game, mate. Allah is all knowing unless you ask questions, of course. I mean, it seems legit to me. A kaffir. Exactly. Liberty. Wash your mouth out with camel urine. Don't do that. It's frank. See this guy, everyone. See this guy. We, we, he and I need Jesus. You get on with it on your own. When you say we, it's because you've got multiple personalities. When we say we, we mean the rest of us, but not you, Charles. Anyway, that's him done. Look at him, he loves it. Where's your lions? Bring your lions and I'll give them a dinner. But well, you're the lion. The lion of Judah is what you need. Yes. Amen. If you want peace, follow him because then Charles will shut up. He won't have nothing to do. He won't have anyone to help. He won't have that. He kept to what I was saying. Where we see him not fall into sin. He's right here. He's right here. There's two of us gathered together. He's right here. I did say that. Well remembered. Excellent, Charles. Excellent. See? They can if they concentrate. Um, having an off-camera thingy with a Christian boy. I'll have to do... How long have I been going? I'll do another little, little while. And then I'll come back this afternoon. But I have to do a couple of... Uh, to cameras, even though, like I said, I've got Bob and I's debate, I've got one persecution in the bag, Michael and I. Bloodfire, where are you? Oh no, he's just a fucking... nobody heard that, that's all right. I think I styled it out pretty well. I accidentally slipped into my old lingua franca. I will do, I will uh, stick Bob and me on. I might. <laughs> I might stick it on the main channel, but I don't want JC to start having a breakdown. 
so uh, I'll mention it and see what colour he turns. Nice one. Nice one, John. It's not the same without you. Quite a for a start. <laughs> Love them pickles the geezer's got on. Hold on a minute. What? Looks like an aviator. I, who's a hater? Oh, Girl, I'm commanded. Well, commanded, mate. Right? Commanded. Exactly. I was just thinking that. I was just thinking that. It's like amazing, isn't it? Yeah. All right, let's stop a minute. I'm just leaning on whoever's table this is. We're in Arabic corner. La la la. Apparently. Aye, aye. The Royal Parks are showing a present. Never seen one of them before. This well, even the old bill are in an unmarked scarlet. Unless they're just, unless they're guarding it. Maybe they found it. Ooh, Jay, well done. Well done. Coffee is essential. Church coffee is not a requirement. You can go to like Pret or somewhere. Hang on a minute. I can't light them. Ah, oh, shucks. I've only got one hand. Hold on. That's it. I'm sorted. I'm sorted. That's brilliant, Biblical Unitarian Christian, except for your evangelizing Unitarianism. There's always a fly in the ointment, isn't there? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't uh, bother about Dazza either. It's embarrassing, really. It's embarrassing for redhead people everywhere. Maybe it's maybe it's hair dry. We can only we can live in hope. I'm learning Arabic, by the way. I'm learning. I'm learning Arabic. I need the writing at first. Like I can say the one that looks like a. Yeah. The, you can have A, A in English and then this, and then I, I can't, like she, uh, uh, okay. that, that, uh, that, anyway, that's my, um, that's all I'm up to at the minute. Yeah, you should learn Arabic, it's good for you, you know? I'm having a go, yeah, but then I'll just be able to tear it apart even more easily. <laughs> They'll go, you don't know Arabic, and I'll say, excuse me, it's been 10 years. No, 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 you should be able to do it in six months. Yeah, no, I'm going to you. Yeah, but I've heard them saying it to Arabs. Ah, but you don't understand, because they're not Muslim Arabs. You know what I mean? Ah, oh, the Quranic Arabic is different. But we don't always have so many words that mean so many different things and you just decide what it means, like between you. We normally know. Well, mostly. There's no dialogue. Some word I understand I'm not properly, you know. But some word I have to go back to the Have you got another mother tongue? Have you got another language from your home? Like your parents' home country. Uh, Arabic and English. Yeah, that's it. Oh no, yeah. yeah. No, it's like Egyptians. They've only got Arabic, but Iranians. They've got Iranian and Arabic. Right? They've got Persian. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's different dialects. Yeah. 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 And is it like old-fashioned the Quran Arabic? Is it like the King James Bible sort of, like the old the thou the the? Uh, I don't know if I can compare it to that. No, but I'm saying it's an older-fashioned Arabic, maybe. Or it's not, they just kept it the same all this time. Yes, yes, yes. Nice. We still use it. Yeah, it's good. Biblical Unitarian, we don't need only Tac Thank you. Tacitus, Josephus. Uh, I don't care if he's got a problem with Paul, basically. Paul's got a problem with Dazza. Like, so I don't care about that. I'll tell you what, then. I tell you what, I will do a video. Please remind me, someone, because I've, I've got a pen on me, but I can't. I can't be bothered. I've got stuff in my hands, and I. Anyway, what I will do is I will make a video on uh, proving Jesus without the Bible. I'll do that. It shouldn't be a long, like a, you know, well, I can't bunny, but I'll just bring some evidences, and we'll go from there, and we'll see how you like it. That's that's the deal. Someone stick it in the comments section if you think of it. And I'll get it after. Right. The way to win a theological argument. Do a Google search. Right. Let's go and have a nose at what's going on.
Send him five hundred pounds, apparently. Right. Unless, yeah, I'm not going to be able to debate. Wow, there's no Zara here. Zali. Wonder where they all are. Maybe at the music protest. Ah, uh, there's Ali over there. I like Ali, he's all right. Out of all the Muslims here. He tells the truth, at least, even if it's embarrassing. Yeah, it doesn't seem that lively. There's a lot of people, but I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I'm a bit tired. But I'm hoping a friend of mine who used to come here regularly, you wouldn't know who it is, but I won't say it just in case. They said if the sun comes out, they'll come down. But other than that, they'll be here next week. So I'm pretty happy about that because they haven't been here for a while. Uh, yeah, I just want, want someone to, I want to cash him to turn up so I can like just heckle him. Because I've got a feeling Mansour won't speak to me anymore. Maybe I'm oversensitive. Maybe it was just that once. But yeah. Yeah, have a look at that preacher for a minute. Oh. Right, anyway, me and lighters, it's just not happening lately. Someone's trying to tell me something. Right, have a little look round if you fancy. Remember, he did a thing on Soko the other week with the cap on. Can't have a little listen in what they're talking about. Let me have a look at the live chat quickly. Sorry. Hamza. Hamza. Do me a favour. Oh, you're right, Jeff. Well, I've got a lot to get through. Hamza. Hamza's got nothing. If he had something, he would bring it. All he's got is like a negative stuff as a, as in accusations of you've got a D got that his name should be Hamza and not Darren anymore. What evidence has he got? What evidence has he got of an IQ? Let's have it right. Arabic is magic. Um, abracadabra is a prime example. Let's see what they're talking about. I don't really know. You're finished now, are you? Why you recording Why shouldn't I? Anyway, that's quite rude. But uh, yeah, I still will anyway now, just for fun. Let's so have a look at Jay Z's t shirt that he's got on. I don't know if you can read it. See it? Oh, is it mirrored? I don't know. It should come out all right. A ham sandwich. Exactly. Right. Let's have a see what John's talking about. He's got George next to him. He said this. Let's Let's have have the sun sets free is free indeed. Oh, Charles, do yourself a favour. freedom? Freedom is freedom from the bondage of sin. I don't even know what he's talking about. I just got here. Into bondage. Well, shush then and listen. Into the power of Christ compels you. To sin is the condition Who of never said man. what? You don't is even know what he's talking about. We were never very Attention. Give me a lad, I'll stat. I'm only joking. I'll probably fall off. <laughs> I'm <laughs> 
Oh, yeah? It's my kind of chat. All of a sudden, I come to the right part. Strippers, apparently, in champagne. Oh, can I have a camera, please, sir? Sir, sir. Who's got it? Oh, two biggest bunniers in the park. I've got to confess, I am not an innocent. I have been to strippers. I thought you were going to say you're a stripper. Look at me. Bob just come out of a confession. He's been to a strip bar, everyone. <laughs> oh, don't, please. I feel defiled. Stop it. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, Craw. Sometimes his son has like uh, these sport tournaments. He's really proud. It's quite sweet. Um, not in a. Like, pride is a sin when it's arrogance. Do you know what I mean? Like, pride in yourself. But I think it's acceptable to Christians, which uh, Yaya isn't one of them, to be like proud of your children, etc. Like, uh, you know. Right, we're still wandering. Like the Jews in the wilderness out here. Roman, there's no manna. I know that much. There's a lot of mandem, but no men. Yes, biblical Unitarian. It happens all the time. Hi, you're right. I'm just coming to Earwig. Mask would be. Pull your mask out. You're very close to the lady's face. I don't have a mask, no. I'm not a sheep. But you've got a mask on, so maybe pull it up because you're very close to the lady's face. Yeah. Yes. In the Quran? Yes, it does, yeah. What did you say? The majority of the inhabitants of hell are women, said Muhammad, the prophet of Islam. Got ten. ten. He on. said ten? Ten. He didn't. He said the majority of the inhabitants no, of no, hell... No, no, he married ten women. Oh, he married... You know he married you know more why? than... Yeah. You have to know why. No, no, no. But no, no, now, that's, what's that got to do with them being in hell? Be sleeping with another woman. Sorry. No, yeah. sir, sir, what does that have to do with the majority no, all, all, of hell being the full of women? women? With another woman. What That's has that got to No, no, it's the their feminine, it's their DNA that denotes that they are going to go to hell because they're deficient in mind and religion. That's another Islamic tenet. Yes, 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 yes. Don't deny your prophet. That'd be ridiculous with your mask on. Anyway, hopefully she gets a bit more assertive. Bless our little Christian sisters. Giving it large for Jesus. He did. He absolutely said it. I don't make this stuff up. I wouldn't have to. Biblical <laughs> Unitarian Christian. I could make it up half as well. I could make it up half as well. Oh, it's hilarious, some of it. Hilarious. Yeah, so I'm just waiting on a camera, basically, like a nomad. Sorry. Right, if anyone wants to bring up a topic, apart from Darren, please. Uh, then, yeah, we can go for it a minute, I guess. Yeah, well, MBS, Mohammed bin Salman, the Crown Prince of uh, Arabia, has chucked off a bit all, uh, all the nonsense. He's even chucked out Sahir in terms of if it contradicts the Quran, which is fair enough, to be honest. He's also opened up Mecca, as far as I know. He's turned off the minarets. I know. To let women live on their own um, work, as far as I know. Oh, this guy likes to talk about Israel, Palestine. Oh, he's still on Darren. Hamza. Please, let's get off that vibe. And my life is absolutely spiffing without him in my consciousness, quite frankly. He did say that, Dragon. He didn't say that women were deficient. He's, you know, when Mary and Martha, when when she was at his feet and her sister said, like, is anyone helping me in the kitchen out here or whatever, I'll tell her to, tell her to get up. He said, no. <laughs> he said, the time will come, you know, when I'm not here. So while I am here, let her learn. And that's at the feet of a rabbi. And that was a no-no in those days. So when they come out with, like, Mohammed was a feminist, um, 
you know, no, Jesus actually, um, you know, when he said neither Jew nor Gentile, slave or free, male or female, in Christ, he therefore took down all of the hierarchies. Um, yeah. Right, so, oh gosh, James uh, Asif is still going with the camera. Never mind, I've got some stuff already. Oh, bless. Look at the guy he's talking to. That is a tip for an half, if anyone's from East London. The hat, it's a tip for tat. It's got, I think it's got Jesus written above the flappy bit, but it's like pushed up quite comically. Let's go back to John because James has, uh, Charles has got bored now. It's Hatton filming with the t-shirt, obviously. Hi, Beb. This is the sister that I uh that I've debated Bob with, everyone. There she is. All right, let me come back around. Let me put it on me. Thank you, free to play. Let's we find that. But what the ladies are asking you, you ask me the same question so many times. Eh? Now they are asking you back. Oh, yeah, right. I'm not looking for everything. You are angry about that. No, but you're misunderstanding. Yeah, I know. I'm not denying. Yeah. Uh, but you are angry about that question. You, you ask me about the same question so many times. You know, the first point. Mohammed is this. this. Now they are asking you the same question. You are angry. You are hypocrite. Okay. 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 No, I want to. Me, I'm not saying no. I'm not saying that. What they asking you? So basically, I was very curious about. I'm not saying that. I was having a conversation with that Muslim. And these two ladies, so why are you following Christianity when Christianity is for the whites? <laughs> Okay. And then I said to her, Neither Jew nor Gentile. Why are you from Muhammad? You're being black. Why don't you think it's Naptar is like Iblis? And because raisin head Somalians, that kind of thing. I said, bring evidence. It's words, not mine. Bring evidence to show that Muhammad is black. Why are you aware when you're from Muhammad? Have you got a phone on you? So, excuse me, have you got a phone on you? So, you're going to take your words back. Oh, you know it. Oh, brilliant. So, can I explain? What are you talking about Naptar? You Satan is like a black man. No, I'm using his phone. He said it talks about the whiteness of his arms, the whiteness of his arms. Also, also, let me tell you, there was a tattoo uh, a couple of centuries after the fact that said if you call him uh, black, you deserve to die. Everything you're saying, I can speak about. Excellent. But you, but you admit that it's true. No, it's misunderstood. First of all, the claim that Muhammad was white. This is interesting because the hadith actually does say if someone came, spoke to the, came to the Sahaba, which one is the prophet? He said the white one. Yes, with a red beard as well. And I have a beard. If you say as Muslims, it's a misunderstanding. I would see you as a sister and say you're white. Uh -huh. you a brother, you know. Would you say the Arabs are traditionally like white? No, but this is not the case. Blondie. Yellow, yeah, right? So people that were white, like our gentlemen over here, or you, would be described as yellow people. And they wouldn't be described as white people. Arabs, you're black. You know, black. black. You know from the Welsh language, it's really dark. They would be described as black. When we think of black people, we're not So she's not saying Mohammed is blonde or a yellow, she's saying he's white. He's a pure Arab. Yeah, he had a white skin to him. And a red beard. You have to make a difference between him. Arabs traditionally have black hair, don't they? He had a red beard. No, now tell me why Mohammed looked at a black man called Nathal and said to everybody who was in the hearing distance, if you want to see what Iblis looks like, Shaitan, 
Look at check out this black man with red cheeks and curly hair. Who was he? He was a man that Mohammed didn't like, obviously. Why didn't he like him? I have no idea. What does, so what does that mean? He didn't say he's like Nabtal, he said he looks like Nabtal. So if I'm evil, do I look like a he can be he can be behind you. Anyway, it's all getting a bit. Who are you fronting? Hey, love, don't make don't make yourself like that. I haven't put my hands on nothing. What's it got to do with you? Is that right? You sound like you're a slave. Okay. You sound like a slave of Allah. I'm not a liar. I'm not a liar. How am I a liar? I haven't made an assertion. You can't defend yourself. I can't defend the same question you have. Mohammed is a racist. You are a racist. You are a You are a racist. 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 You are a is it not your question you always pose to me? You always pose that question to me. I can't use it. I'm not saying you every every week you saw me. You saw me every week when you saw me. They are saying it. It's a interpretation of it, for example. If I say to you, sure, no, he's not. He says looks like. Like I just prefaced it by saying he doesn't say he is like. He said raisin heads for Somalians. You know what I mean? That's not the Come on, if someone said that nowadays, they'd be too fat. Like, what's it got to do with what's, what's Christianity got to do with Mohammed? Nothing. I know the Bible very well, thank you. I'm a Christian evangelist. But I won't speak about Christianity because I'm talking about the prophet Muhammad. And you can deflect me onto Christianity as well. But what I'm asking you to what I'm asking you to clarify for me. What I'm asking you to clarify for me is what I'm asking you to clarify for me is whether Mohammed made derogatory comments about Somalians or Ethiopians, sorry, and called them raising heads. No, no, sorry, I'm asking, yeah, whatever, it's not Ethiopian. Ethiopian, raisin heads, you can't ask it. I want to find it. He said it. You can check it out after. So what? So what? It doesn't matter. I don't know. You better ask him. He said it. It's not my problem. Is there any other religion? Is there any other religion than Islam that says that no, no one is more superior, no black or white? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Christianity, Christianity says in Christ, you can pull it up on your own phone, in Christ there is neither Jew nor Gentile, meaning the religious distinction. There is neither a slave or free man, and there is neither male nor female, meaning the hierarchy. It's in the Jew or Gentile, that's the distinction of race. Jew, gen sorry, Gentile is everybody else. So there's a distinction. There is no hierarchy of one is better than the other in Christ. So I've answered your question. You said there's no hierarchy. For yes. example, in America, right? You'll have different types of Who's church. you all? I'm not American. I know, but even in the UK, different, everyone goes to different types sorry, of Sorry, let me just come back to this gentleman. Excuse me. Right, so um, Alice Messenger said you should listen to and obey your ruler, even if he was a Ethiopian, in brackets, black slave whose head looks like a raisin. Sorry, the English. Yeah, but she's, she's it's it's literally telling it even says obey him even if he's black, as if black is not good, as if you need telling. But back in the days, the Arabs were racist. But it wasn't only blacks who were slaves. In, in Mohammed's time, no, it wasn't. Yes, most of the most of the slaves. And Mohammed had a black slave, didn't he? Yes, and he freed him. No, he didn't. He freed the black slave. Bilal was freed, but bro, Bilal was he swapped him for two. He gave two black slaves for one non-black slave. Of being the first man, first man. The to the minaret guy. And did he have no other black slaves? No, but he was given did he have no other black slaves?
like Why would you give a black man an honor? You knew realize Because he was this guy who was slain. Do you realize the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? He didn't do stiff for no reason. He did it for a message. Is it? The same reason why he gave Bilal that honor. I thought he did everything at the will of Allah. No, no, but there's a reason. I didn't think he had his own reason. It was for political. So why are there still blacks in slavery? In slavery in Islam today, and women no correlation to the Quran. in Islamic countries, what people are in doing Sharia, today, what people are doing today. Sh you're saying Sharia are has nothing today. to do with Islam. What people are doing today, it's not answer what people are yeah. doing today. Yeah where imams are, um, you know, instrumental in uh, di giving out what's good and what's not good in terms of... Excuse me, I haven't finished my point, though. I don't know how you're going to answer my point when I haven't finished it. You haven't let me finish. So, slavery... OK, he doesn't want to know. He's not interested. The point is that Sharia is not divorced from Islam. If it is, those people should be dealt with by the vast majority of Muslims. In an Islamic republic, like Pakistan, for example, or any of them, Saudi Arabia, or excuse me, sir, or any of those countries, that are proudly the Islamic. Are they using a religious book? Are other Chinese using a religious book to persecute Muslims or Christians? What is the difference? The difference is, I tell you the difference. No, because if it's in your scripture, you can call to Allah to say this is why it's permissible. That is what Sharia is. It's a justification and a condemnation depending on the Quran. I'm not just saying it. I know what I'm talking about. No, I'm not. I'm a Christian. And I understand that China is persecuting, excuse me, China, I will come to you. China is persecuting Christians also. I know, I know, I deal with Christian persecution all day long. But what I will say is that Xi Jinping or the CCP cannot go, it's in my scripture. They can't say that. You can. I'm not, I've given you evidence of everything I've said so far. I showed you that. You asked me, is there any other religion that says there's no distinction? I showed you that. You haven't shown Show me any where evidence of your claims. Where does it show Okay. Uh, I've lost my phone, unfortunately. Uh, the guy who I could have used his phone. And no one else, all these young men dressed quite snazzily, has a mobile phone on them. Can you believe it? Unreal. Unbelievable. Yeah, no, no, I, I, I believe it. So anyway, the point is that Sharia does um, legislate for all aspects of life. It depends on which school of uh, Sharia you adhere to, if you're Shia, if you're Sunni, if you're whatever. But the fact is that slavery exists not in all Islamic countries, but it exists and it exists unimpeded by the state. The point you're making is that because a religion teaches you to do that, and whereas if someone does it from their free will, it almost dampens it. You're saying that if your religion teaches you it, it's Worse compared to if you do it all. I just find it a cheat because I believe in the one true God, and I find that if a rapist stands there, for example, in a courtroom, you know who, you know who, who started saying right? Yeah. Uh, Listen, if you know no history, slavery. it doesn't. It says set your servant free after six years and pay them. And if they are a Christian, treat them as a brother. Don't think I don't know the Bible. Do they? Do they really? But do they let them go after six years? No, they don't because they don't have the Bible. What? Hang on. What's a slave? We're up to what's a slave? We're going philosophical. A slave is a chattel. A slave is your property. Sorry. Why are you catching your camera for? Why are you catching your camera Sorry. I'm coming back to you. I know what the Bible says about servant, servitude. Yep. Slaves, be obedient to your human masters yes. with fear and trembling. Yes. That's it. No, 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 let me ask you. As to Christ, which is all instructing to slaves to obey their master. Excellent. And similar statements also read. Surely, no, don't, don't read me the Bible. Don't read the Bible. Let me ask you. Know Before you Colossians, let me answer Ephesians. Yeah, yeah. Paul is speaking to Christians who are slaves. He says, slaves, denoting who he's talking to. Obey your masters. So he's saying, don't be rebellious. You know, God is sovereign. Exactly what you said. But it's not saying take slaves. It's saying Christians who are slaves, respect your masters. Yes. It's already happening. Yes, sir. You just said exactly. But the Quran doesn't do that. The Quran says fight the unbeliever, fight them, fight those who believe not in Allah, nor the last day, nor the last day.
the subject again. You're changing the subject. Yes, I am. Because I can't believe this guy's gone into philosophy. You're telling me 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 you're
if you want to just, no one cares? Okay. So I, I wouldn't understand it even what if I read it. It? What does it, say? it says that the Prophet said, I looked, no, I didn't bring you Sunnah.com, I bought you What's the Sahih Bakari. You, you think there's, there's Sunnah.com is lying about Bakari. Wow. It's weak. You know what? It's, it's, it's Sahih, but your argument is weak. I'm not lying. You're saying that your Muslim sources are lying. Bro, could you find this hadith somewhere else? Yes, I can. It's book 57, hadith 132, Sahih al Bakari. Yes, sure. Sorry, five, one, nine, eight. Anyway, what it says for this gentleman who's not actually that bothered is the prophet said, I looked at paradise and saw that the majority of its residents were the poor. And I looked at the, in brackets, hell fire and saw that the majority of its residents were women. He came and asked me for uh, evidence. Were you using that as evidence? It was his conversation with some other ladies. His conversation with somebody else. I'm not using it as evidence in that. No, I'm just proving that I don't just pull out hadiths because I don't need to make them up. They're silly enough as it is. For the women thing, I've no idea. He, this guy was debating the Christians. Oh, no, I don't need. No, no, it's all right, bro. I don't need any exegesis from a human being in 2021. Sahih Bukhari didn't have your wisdom at the time that he said it's Sahih. So I can understand plain communication. Excellent. Brilliant. This is not my debate, bro. He was talking to women over there. I don't need the context because it's not my debate. It's not my debate. Excellent. I understand what you're saying. No, I never need a bystander. I can go to the commentaries and the texts here if I want to, or I can go to, you know, the, the explanations. I don't know how plainly I can say it without someone exiting. Taxia, is it my debate? No, it's not my debate. Okay, sure. You said that earlier. No, no. Someone came to me and asked me, and I gave them the no. The two. Because of a request. Do. Yes. Sorry, everyone. Yes. Yes. Why? Uh, should we get the context? Huh. Can you get up Jesus calling a woman a dog for me? The verse. I think it's Matthew. Don't know. At the end, really, at the very end, Jesus didn't have any sex slaves, he didn't get married, he didn't go to war, he didn't take uh, captives, he didn't slaughter whole villages really? of people. Yes, really, I'm 100% positive, and it is all right. Sorry? Uh, no, not in his entirety. No, he's the second person of the triune God. So when did he entirely become God? He didn't ever entirely become so God he because he's 100% God, but he is the second person of the triune yeah, God. So he was the God of the Son of God. No, because the Father and the Holy Spirit are also in the triune nature of the God of the Old Testament. Are are Yahweh? Yes. He was part of the triune God. Sure, he's the word. Yeah. So when they ordered genocide, ordered taking of slaves. And now can I tell you what it was ordered for? And it was a one-time deal, unlike Islamic. Excuse me. Once the genocide once. Oh, let me ask you: Do all souls belong to Allah? Souls. Do they all belong to Allah? Can he guide? Do he guide? Do misguide? Do he misguide? He does do that. So he, I'm glad you said yes. So that, excuse me, but I haven't even finished my point again. So the point is, if all lives or souls belong to God, we'll say Yahweh, he can deem that the treatment of his chosen, and they're chosen in the Quran as well, the, the Bini Israel, then he can choose. If somebody, if, if they are sinned against, he can take retribution however he likes, because he is God. What, unlike the flood with Allah, you mean? You're not really addressing it. So, I yes. am, yes, he can, so, yes, so, yes. Hold on. So you and it's a, like I said, it's a one time deal. It's not fight the unbeliever until there is no more fitna. Yes, because once the Amicalites are dead, there is no more wipe out the Amicalites. So, when God says, so wait, hold on, you're condoning killing babies, but then but ordering by another human being to be killed. Okay, I'm going to take a baby soul, right, for example. Right, and they might the not go to heaven, according to Muhammad. I am letting you speak. Yeah, when a, when that's what he said to Aisha. Can I explain? When a baby, for example, is taken on a miscarriage uh -huh. on the flood, yep. that's different than when God yeah, says to his no, other souls, go murder babies. Okay, yeah? so yeah. All right, so fight the unbeliever and fight them until they... Yeah, not babies. Wait, hold on. Excuse me. The babies aren't believers. Babies cannot be unbelievers. 
Yeah. It can be because Mohammed said to Aisha that they won't necessarily go to heaven. Yeah, that Mohammed. Yeah, exactly. He said that. So, sure, yeah, tell me how that's justifiable. To me, I feel like I'm answering them. You condemned Islam for fighting the unbelievers. Where did I condemn it? I was answering you. So, I said, said Jesus didn't wage any war, and you said you see this. Jesus was the older than God. Yeah. I've already answered Which you, and that's incorrect. Jesus. Your position is incorrect theologically, according to Christian doctrine and Jewish doctrine. So, so you need to come well, again with a better rephrasing. Like this, yes, it's awesome. uh, certain... No, no, I can get the complex. You need to simplify in terms of uh, correlation with reality. Only if you don't claim that Jesus is the God of the Old Testament. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Sure. And he is part of the Holy Spirit. Yes, the second person. He's heads. not part of the Holy Spirit. No, he's no, part he's of the, the Godhead. Trinity. So you're yep. splitting heads. No, I'm not. Okay, it's a very different thing. The Trinity thing. was the God of the Old Testament. Uh, we've already done that. We've already done that. He doesn't mind babies dying in the flood of its Can you, like, relax? I uh, can no, relax but, completely, but yeah. God did the same Brother. thing when he I know, I know, I know. Our point is oh, my point. Hallelujah! I'm son of God! Brilliant. I'm Messiah! My point was, and, uh, this gentleman's point was uh, something in the Old Testament when God um, ordered the destruction of a certain people. And my counter was, um, once, sorry, 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 once that people is wiped out, that is not an eternal command. Whereas Allah says it is prescribed for you to fight. And you will fight whether you so want to or not until there is no ISIS more. Excuse me. Sorry, sorry. I'm anyway, I'm just going to ignore uh, this guy same. because he's trying ISIS to deflect me. <laughs> Bro, I'm not a Jew. And I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to this young lady. So the point is it's fine that... one got order oh, and genocide. Sorry, I can, sometimes my nicotine levels drop. So the point... No, no, sorry, let me just answer this lady. So the point is that if means till the end of time because of Allah has also said no I'm not taking no, you are. I'm not on, I'm ignoring you, know. you now. Yeah. So the point is that until there is no more unbelief, uh, right? And and yet Allah says he will make the followers of Isa who are Christians and therefore Nijas of the worst of all creatures according to a different verse, he will make them superior until the judgment day. And he will give Israel to the Israelites until the promise of the judgment has come. And this is that's uh, the night journey uh, 100 to 105. So Surah 15, 100 to 105. So there's my evidence. So go away and read it. Don't embarrass yourself. So that's my point. One-time deals are one-time deals. And I'm a Christian, so I don't have to follow those. Excuse me. I'm sorry, I'm speaking to this young lady. I don't have to follow. I don't have to follow. Because I'm surrounded, mate. So I thought. Anyway, to the camera. Anyway, so the point is that I, we, as Christians, don't have to listen to any commands of the Old Testament. Yes, I am. My hair is my glory. Read the Bible. I'm not in a church. I'm not prophesying and I'm not... Pro yes, show me it. And then when you get to the bit where it says... Where it's, I'm not prophesying. I'm not prophesying. I'm not prophesying. Preaching. Exegeting. Explaining. The di you don't know the difference. Well, Mohammed had no prophecies, so there you go. No, I'm in the middle of a gentleman with this. Have you got it? You're going to feel Jesus calling a woman dog. Oh, shucks. I don't know. Love hate speech. You love victimization. No, I'm not, yeah, I'm you not are a victim. You must be. You, you must be a victim. What hate you speech against who? How am I hating better anyone? Better to Muhammad, hey, brother, Muhammad, Muhammad, Muhammad. I didn't start this conversation. I am brother. Is it? I feel, I feel very ashamed, except I don't. Yeah, the woman dog, sorry. I, yeah, I know, but my thumbprint doesn't work on the phone. Jesus called you a dog, anyway. He didn't call me a dog, love. 26. He didn't. Uh, okay, dokie. 26. Jesus did not answer. A word, so he's yeah, I'm coming from beforehand. It's down here. Jesus didn't answer a word, so his disciples came to him and urged him to send her. Oh, yeah, maybe it is. Okay, so he said, I was looked at. Oh, all right, so first of all, he's saying, I was sent only to the lost sheep of Israel, although he counters that at another point. The woman came and knelt before him, Lord, help me, she said. He replied, It is not right to take the children's bread and toss it to the dog. So he's not put wait, yeah, you're out of wait, bro. Oh, why don't you chill out, mate? No, seriously, why don't you chill out, though? Who's talking to you? I'm speaking to this guy. Anyway, I've got to because it's just. Yeah, uh, dogs, what all Gentiles, they're dogs, according shit? to them. I've got to swear according to the Can Jew you believe this like, nonsense? Let, 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 let. Like he's going to prove anything to no, me. That's anyway, clear, so what he's, what he's saying is that the children, like the children of the promise, the children of God, and then 
Well, in, in your own home, if you were allowed to have a dog, obviously you're Muslim. But if you've got a dog, if you've no, not, Mohammed said so. Right? Let me give you my. Well, I haven't even got to the end of the verse. But okay, so and he actually says to her, her personally, woman, you have great faith. Your request is granted. So therefore, he's not insulting her. He's actually bringing her into this promise. But the ref, the analogy, because he uses parables, etc., of crumbs going onto the floor. Even there's you're, another. You're the dogs in analogy. Um, those who are not children of God. So the, the Gentiles. At the that Gentiles point, yes, dogs, the resurrection yeah. so Non-Jews are dogs, of course. Dogs, yeah. But this is pre-resurrection, you understand. So it's fine to be racist before pre-resurrection. He's not racist. That's racist. He's God. It it is. Is. For example, that, um, but, that's racist. But God gave the... Allah gave... As I said to this guy... No, 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 I just told you, he's not racist. That's my answer. That is racist. It's really not. Did you come up in a left-wing education system? Please don't understand. Mansplain it to me. Please don't left explain it to me. Because I'm tired of this twaddle. Dog, no, 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 no. Don't swear at me. Who are you swearing at? Bro, how is me talking about Islam? This what? Look at the state of you. You might need to smoke some crack. Is that right? Do you want to put the camera? Hang on a minute. Yeah. Anyway, I think I'm going to wrap it up there because none of, not one of you can control your own Muslim brothers. So anyway, well, you stood there. You stood there. Bro, oh, well, then maybe I missed it whilst I was thinking of crack it. So anyway. I as a black person. Yeah. You ask me for, for food because you might be starving. That's something that never happens. Sure. Yeah, you might we're, say, we're well, it's not right to take the, the food poor. and throw it to the dogs. I, yeah, can I answer you? Time. I think this is where your clear like misunderstanding is. It's spiritual food. So she is asking Hello, Jesus to speak Hello. with her about oh, such yeah. faith. And he attributes yeah. to her faith. He says, you, are a, you have great faith because she trusts in what he says. So it's spiritual food because there is another verse that oh, wow. pearls before swine is not real swine. It means drugs, riches before dirty that's animals, drugs, dumpy animals. Drugs. So the dogs in this, please listen to me because I'm kind of losing like the will to be on this video. And in John 3, 16, he says he desires that none should perish. He sent his son into the world for, for all. So that no one will be though in that position of those spiritually like unclean animals. The problem is in this context, he says, Sorry, I am, everyone. I am only sent to the lost sheep. Only, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he also only. says, I'm counting that verse for you so, right now. So was he sent I'm counting the, the verse. The he was sent to the to Israel, but he is the perfect Israel. And he then said, There are other sheep, not of this flock, who know my voice. And they will be, wait, you've got to read all of his words. They will be we are adopted into Israel. Israel as Christians through the blood of Christ because he is the faithful Israel. Gentiles are Gentiles. not really uh, addressing what I'm saying. I am. In this specific uh, verse, he's ah, basically saying, without context. I am only sent to the lost sheep of Israel. Sure. I'm only sent to the lost sheep of Israel. Uh -huh. He is not Israelite. Yes. So he calls her a dog. Maybe no, he doesn't call her a dog. He talks about dogs. In the analogy, she is a dog, right? She's one of the dogs, yeah. Yes. But he's not saying you're a dog. Because she's a gentleman. She's not a Jew. Yes. Just because I say it in other yes. colloquial language. Yes, because it's the that. opposite of a child, the children of Israel. Yeah, but she's still a dog because of her descent, isn't But it? he, oh, then two sentences later, and not even yeah, his own sentences, That's fine. and, and he dog. blessed her yeah, by taking... Oh, here you go. Oh, well, that's there true. you go then, it's proven. Yeah. All right, oh, great, great oh, chat, thank oh, you. Sure. I've got to do a wrap up now, I can't, I'll just go around in circles. Take time that. For, time for a cigar. So any, yes, amen. So anyway, I'm sorry about that, everybody. So, um, yeah, when I mentioned the spirit of Antichrist, um, I don't attribute it to that gentleman, uh, obviously, but there is like it seems to me a willful, um, a deliberate attempt not to understand. Whereas when I look at the Hadith and when I look at the Quran, I do go to the Tafsir and I do go to different religious schools to find out what the context is. And it's very important, as I said the other night on the live stream, to look at the context, the historical context of where these verses are delivered. Because earlier on, obviously, if Paul is speaking into the social uh, status of Christian slaves, then that's one thing he's not saying to them, pick up your stuff and go and be a slave. The Bible says the opposite. It tells uh, even a slave master, if you're a Christian and your servant, rather than slave, because they can go after six years if you pay them, unless they don't want to go, which doesn't seem to me like utter destitute servitude, then you should treat them as a brother. And Jesus specifically 
hierarchies are redundant. Male and female, there is no one above the other unless it's your husband, obviously, or your father. But that's it. There's no random man on the street who's a Christian who has to outrank me in terms of um, Christ tore down the uh, curtain even so that we go into the Holy of Holies. He is our Holy of Holies. We are a royal priesthood, excuse me, and therefore um, we are to keep all things holy. And that's difficult in the face of um, just willful ignorance. I don't know how to put it more charitably, but we love Muslims and therefore we do stand and get called all sorts of silliness by people who don't have any theological arguments because when you have to resort to insults, it means you have no foundation for your uh, your propositions. So, that being said, please like, share, subscribe, comment, do all the good stuff. Pray for Muslims at the park, please. Pray for us also that the fruits of the Spirit would be slightly more evident than they are at the moment in me. And, um, yeah, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Ah, cut there. <laughs> cut! <laughs> I need a cigarette so much. You, you talked about insults there. Yeah. What do you think about the Christians when they insult Prophet Muhammad? <laughs> He's insulting his words. No, um, no, his person. Because of his actions or because of his words? So There's only you two can options. Someone no, I'm asking. No, I haven't even answered you. I've asked you a clarifying question. Yeah. What do you mean, yeah? Do you mean they insult him because of his words or his actions? No, I don't think so. Oh, no, 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 not me, though. No, I don't... No, it's just for the minute, because I need a cigarette. So I'm asking you, words or actions? They're not just insulting him, they don't know him. Are they insulting him because of what he said or what he did? In this, in that, like, example you're giving me. It's fine to insult. Jesus called people whitewashed tombs, but he's he insults them in order to show them the error of their ways, and then he gives them the good news. So, insulting is not a sin? You shouldn't call your brother a fool because you're in danger of hellfire, but Muslims are not our when brothers. Jesus, you said Jesus is sinless. He is, yes. So why he called I just told you, that, and, you know, that's not a sin. The sin is, sin. the sin, the person who is in danger of hellfire is one who says, it says, do not say um, raka to your brother, but, but one who says thou fall to his brother is in danger of hellfire. So, so that's the one caveat. You can insult Jesus the way the truth he and the life his enemies. He, he told everybody that that's what we we must do yes isn't he god yes he's god yes so he's the one who commanded genocide in time well, i just went through that you'll have to watch the video he's not the entirety of the godhead he is the second person of the trinity of course he's so, the word of so, god so he took part in genocide no he didn't go down and do it himself no he was, he was he against it do you want to tell me about the flood in islam did Allah ordain that all the babies, donkeys, pigs, everyone die in the so, flood? So we agree Jesus did these things, huh? No, Jesus didn't um, perform genocide. Muhammad had wars and a booty and mean, sex slavery. He said, he said to Moses, kill the woman. He said, exactly, you just donkeys. made my point. He said to Moses, he didn't do it, did he? So, so he gave it's the different. No, no, it's, it's about the... It's, it's a right to command it. Oh, help me, God. He said it because, for one, all souls belong to God. God is supreme. If God says it's your time right now, then you're gone. And you can't moan. Wait, I haven't finished. And you can't moan about it because God is sovereign over everything. Satan might pretend to keep us here. Yeah, yeah. Satan might pretend to keep us here, but God knows the days of your life, even when you're in your mother. So evil, if God does They it, treated it. Israel evilly. Let me speak. Well, I'm pretty, like, tired now. I've, my phone's going to run out. Come on then, tell me. I just don't understand you Christians. God appeared in disguise. Excellent. Only I was able to see it and talk to him. Did you take a photo? And, yeah, this is his photo. He was not wearing glasses. In the photo, he's wearing glasses. And it was clear. That's God? Yeah, no. God, he come in disguise. He talked to me, with me. There were seven people, including the priest. He said to me, you are right, don't tell everybody. But you're telling me. And uh, but nobody saw him, nobody looked at him, nobody heard him. I went after him, I said, you are God, you come to meet me in disguise. He didn't say anything. I said, can I take your photo? He didn't say anything. As I clicked, he looked into the camera. In one second, we traveled through 300 meters. And, and, and 
At the other end, uh, I saw William. I was crossing the road. Board put his arm in front of me and said, stop, car coming. Then I said to God, how will I prepare, how will I, how will I prepare new world for Jesus? God said, 31st of July last year, 31st of July, I went out on the street. It was uh, 12, quarter past 12. It was a Friday. It was 31st of July. Right. Suddenly I heard, when I looked at the tree, there was no chainsaw, there was nobody there. And as I, as I was looking, the branch fell to the ground. Cut, 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 fell to the ground. Mm. God Help me. sent me the message. We will give you the staff My. of wood. Wow. And you is can it that come. one? Uh, no, no, no not that, that staff of no, wood. I, staff I have picked in there. Staff. And I will be able to use the staff Great. to create rain. Wow. Neutralize well, could, you the could you leave it just until maybe no. October, November? Because I'm pretty, Neutralize like I like the, the summer. No, no, and, no nuclear fallout. Yes, no. American Russia <laughs> yeah. are one second away from oh. World War Three. Wow. OK, and well, both, you better get to it and tell and, everyone. Uh, and both superpower have a weapon to kill everybody. No, but my God. No, no, no. I know. Times. All right. But I know how the world but is going to end. It's going to end by fire. It's going to end by fire. This heaven and this earth. Can you fire. War is a fire. Sure thing. Well, I know. But, but the thing is, thank you. But I've got a, a, like an Armageddon plan. It's in my Bible. It's Revelation. It's all mapped out for me. Excellent. Well done. Pray for some discernment. And the Bible says six trumpet will be blown. Seven? In Euphrates. 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 Sixth uh, trumpet. Just near where Eden was, yeah. And uh, a third oh. of the world population will die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like that. But that's in times and, for you, love. Muslim, but no one knows the hour. Muslim, Prophet Muhammad. Prophet. Yeah. He Bit of a copy up. Bit of a copy cap. 33% into 99%. Well, he wasn't big with the numbers and the letters, and the maybe. I don't know. All the prophets told lies. Really? That's to not true. To further their uh, letter ideas and religion. Well, not the prophets in the line of Israel. Are they ever, I haven't seen any lies. Israel. They were, uh, yes, they were. They used to go around oh. killing anybody who was more than three. That's they not true, women, sir. Okay, married. babes, lovely. Thank you. Have a mouth. Son of God. Oh, help me. Brilliant. Are you? I well, don't tell someone God. else how Brian's over there. Hallelujah. Yeah. I am son of God. Yeah, with the yar on the end, you know, in the true God. Alrighty then. Do you see what I cope with? I don't know who he is, love. He's not is well. He's showing me a photo on the front of his phone. He said it's God, but he wasn't looking at the camera. <laughs> He's a dude just sitting there with glasses on. Oh, mate. But I, I've managed all right for ages. I was just in my brain praying for help, and you came along and, like, distracted <laughs> I'm so, okay. Sorry, sorry. No, what do you mean? Uh, Thank you so much. Oh, yeah, you mean him? Huh? I can't okay, cope okay, with this okay. sort of twaddle. All right, well, all right. I can. I'm here every week, yeah, yeah. but you know what I mean. When you when you don't want to speak to someone, just walk away. Uh, well, I can't because I've got to hold this camera uh, and I've got to... Um... No, just give him your side and he'll go. I know, but I feel bad because he's not a well bunny. You have to, you have to. I know, I know. Not well. What I was saying is, is, you know, I'm not against Jesus, but I want to understand, you know, Christians say Jesus is a man of love and mercy, uh -huh. but in the past, it's like he took part in genocide, and in the future, he's going to punish people. This is, this is the thing. To, put them okay, I'm going to try and explain to you. If we compare Jesus with Muhammad, as in the physical, like the earthly form, you can't, that, that word became flesh is different from the second person of the trinity in this respect he hasn't got two separate wills or anything but in the old testament he had never taken on flesh in the in the new testament we learn he became lesser than the angels in order to come to earth so that he could be killed he can't be killed if he's like you know his heavenly uh, form and yet even though he could raise the dead he could uh, make the blind see he could make water to wine he could 
Jesus Christ. You might have heard the story. Sorry, bro, I'm not talking to you, though. I'm talking to him. I'm really getting on a one-to-one -one level here because I can't cope with this heckling. Yes, yes, God bless you. You're going to do your prayers. Very, very humble. Right, so, yeah. That is, is that a man walking around? Anyway, the point is that if you compare just their lives on earth, even the Quran attests to the fact that there is no sin we know of in Isa. We don't see any sin. We say, we see, no, no, the Quran says that. Which verse? 19, Surah 1919. It says a Allah said it's about other people as well, not, not only Jesus. But did, did those other people have only a mother and a miraculous angel getting their mother, like, uh, pregnant? So... No, I'm asking you, is it a yes or no? Are there any other characters in the Quran so where they have a miraculous have a father, birth? But if you don't have a father, you don't sin. Well, the Bible says that the sins of the father may be visited onto the children. Okay. You see, but then Jesus uh, changed that. So it can be to the 10th generation. Okay. If your great, 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 great... no father. Did he sin? Uh, yes, because of his free will. The father of lies came to him. So... And told him, you are as God. Ah, I just remembered, sorry. And that is why we also know that when Jesus says, it is said in your law to them that they are gods, blah, 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 that thing that I was talking about earlier, that's why we know that it's nonsense as well, because Satan, who is the father of lies, said, you are as gods in Genesis, and God said, you will surely die. Whereas Satan said, you ain't going to die. So we know. So go on. Sorry, I just remembered the point I forgot earlier. Go on. So anyway, just have a look for your own research purposes. You don't have to use even Christian accounts, but you should. Just see the differences between the life of Muhammad and the life of Christ. Even from the point of view of an atheist, if you put them on paper and say this one had the you war know. in, uh, you know, uh, this war and that siege and that thing and that conquest and this one had this preaching and this feeding and this that you can see it looks better when you when you when you talk about prophet muhammad you must remember that he was deal, he wasn't dealing with the with the swiss with the swiss people or the danish people i know i know who are civilized yeah he, he was, was dealing with the arabs do you know what the arabs mean in the seventh century well i can imagine they were all pagans for a start yeah, yeah no, I know. they were very dangerous people they're sure. very violent but so was he they killed their own jesus children. said if he, they slap your face give them your other cheek and let them slap that as well and if they take if they take your shirt give them your jacket as well or your cloak you know but how can you how can you because god has suffered more we don't suffer god but suffers when we, we want, sin as a people we want to live in peace and order no we don't we want to rape murder steal take shortcuts no, no. be violent no we don't want those things if we wanted I'm those things Tell you why if we wanted those things the bible would be lying when it says there is not one good none we are all in rebellion against god we hate god because he makes us feel bad why do i didn't say that you said why do you think we have it and i'm answering you we need, we need the holy spirit is my contention but it's not happening so yes we need law and order but do you but the police didn't go around wiping out 600 jews i'm not talking about that we, look, you say turn the other cheek. Yes. If we do that, we're not going to have criminals will control well, we, the I'll society. i tell you how we do it. Well, they already do. Let's be fair. Politicians lie. We're not going no, to be no, able to... Lying is a sin against my God. You, right? now, let me tell you, though. You're about what I'm talking let about. Let me finish what I'm saying. You said otherwise we're going to be run by criminals. I'm saying we are run by criminals. We have people who are paid to lie and they run the country but, and they say one yeah, thing okay. and they do another That's thing different. but At that is now, criminals we, running we the country a certain degree of peace we can go and peace if you mean yeah, peace by yeah. absence of so sure. that but satan is being glorified to walk safely in the streets no, I don't, when you're not here i don't even want to know where you live but apart from around here do you ever see a policeman walking on his feet in your area but if it no, is, yes or no bro the criminals know when there was is, the last uh, time you saw a policeman walking down the street in your area i've asked you one question when was the last time you saw police walking in your area i haven't seen it for about 20 years i'm saying they don't deter the criminals because the crime goes on yeah and who did that the criminals who are running the place did that they took the money away there's kids stabbing themselves every day if you have a problem and the police say oh. look if you have a problem with islam you have problem what's that got to do with the police you have you have problem with the police and all no, i don't have a problem with islam because i don't islam have a problem with the police i have 
a faith in my God. And when my no, God no, says, I mean, wait, I'm wait, wait, general, wait. General. I don't have a problem with Islam. You can follow it till the cows come home. Be happy. But my problem is that my God says any more prophets, they're to be accursed. There is no new stuff to come. My God says it. And if your God said it, I would understand. I'd say, oh, that's fine. You don't think I'm right because your God said X, Y, Z. So I haven't got a problem with Islam, but I have got a problem with people telling me I'm nejus and I'm deficient because I'm a woman and all of those things. Islam, the Quran says nejus about the mushrikeen. No, no, it says uh, the Jews and the Christians in brackets. The ayah says, إِنَّمَا الْمُشْرِكُونَ النَّجِسِ Mushrikun are nejus. Yeah, but isn't that hypocrites? Or polytheists? Mushrik, mushrik. Hypocrites. Idol worshippers. Yeah, but the tri <laughs> Christians will go to heaven. In another part it says, fight them until they feel themselves humiliated. And it says in brackets, Jews and Christians. Fight those who refuse to pay their taxes. No, it doesn't say that. Because it's talking about taxes. It doesn't say that. Jizya, it doesn't say Jizya. that. Don't misquote your own Quran. It says, fight those who believe not in Allah, okay. nor the last day. No, he doesn't want to wear his own scripture. Nor the religion of truth. But fight them until they, in brackets, Jews and Christians, feel themselves humiliated and pay the jizya. So it doesn't the mean they've refused right? it. It's about, the jizya. it's about the fighting and what comes after the fighting. Yeah. God bless you. Um, for Jesus. And I'm about to just take a very quick break. Hello, thank you so much, but it's like constant now. Great. Hello, thank you so much, but it's like constant now. It really is. But anyway, everyone, this guy behind me, World War Three trumpets and all that. I'm just gonna hold them. Two seconds. Hold them. Two seconds. It's on. It's on, but it's facing that way. Don't know. I'm not involved in all that because I'm over 20. No, seriously, I won't get involved in any silliness. Though. Yeah, well, you're not. You don't sound like it though. It doesn't sound like it. And if you've got something, just listen. I'm on camera now, but yeah, no, I don't do stuff like that. I'm not. No, just Jesus. An argument with Muslims, it seems like. What is your thing about Jesus? That he's God? Yeah, that's it. I'm here every week. I normally um, polemicise other religions or defend Christianity, as the Bible tells me to. You say you do with other religions, usually? Polemicise, argue against them. Because the Bible says, tear down all false arguments and lofty opinions that set themselves up against the true knowledge of God. So, the Bible says it's good enough for me. But yeah, and also it says in 2 Timothy, defend, always be ready to give an answer to defend the hope that is within you. So that's what I try to do. Anywho, right, let's get going. Right, I'm just going to move up there. Nice to speak to you. Let's go and see JC a minute. What a day. I don't know what you're talking about, Jeremiah. Yeah. In yourselves in the chat. And I, it's so weird, right, that I kind of like it. Not at the time when I'm getting called a crackhead, which is... Oh, no! <laughs> Oh, I'd rather be called that than a condemned to hell. But at the time, it's irritating. I must have, not irritating, but it's, yeah. You got a microphone on? No, that's all right. I'm only just finishing this last bit of what I'm saying. So anyway, um, it is, it rankles. However, it, it proves that you're doing what God wants you to do. Listen to this big man. No, I'm joking. He just, he just told me already. On why we need to rediscover the chivalric code. Oh, yeah, someone was asking for you earlier. You Everybody? The no, no because, hang on a minute, everyone. Was molded in the past to make warriors gentlemen. Now, let's move away from fog, old Neil. Let's bring the camera with us. I'm venturing out on my own. I'm so brave. I'm only joking. Yeah, Bob the Builder. Hi. Morpheus, you know Morpheus from the Matrix? I do know him. Yeah, yeah, I'm the real Morpheus, yeah. Nice. 
any yeah. pills for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, are you, what are you here to talk about? I'm just expressing what this is the wisest man on the planet. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, go on. Yeah. yeah, you got any Holy Spirit about you <laughs> while you're giving it yeah. the wisdom. But that's yeah. good. Yeah, so I just... I, 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 my, my cameraman, my best mate, says you're the best in it. So I'm just going to... I want to talk with you. You've got a vibe. Okay, let me turn spirit. the thing here. JC! Sort this out for me, love. Let me just have two packs yeah, yeah, yeah. of cigarettes. Sorry, because... I've got a sniff one here now. No, 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 not for you, not yeah, for you, yeah, yeah. for me, I just think. I mean, every herb bearing plant on earth to use and all that, but that's not me. Can you imagine? I like a gin and tonic, I've got. That's, that's my thing. Right, let me, uh, we do need bra holy brass knuckles, Armour of God. I reckon I'll make you right there, son. So you guys got a YouTube channel or something? Are you filming live now? On YouTube. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there's yeah live live streaming that, and this one will be uploaded to the channel later. But I got is my mic on? It's a channel called. That one is Soco Films, and this one is. I just I just that. S O C O. It stands for Soldier of Christ Online or Soldiers, and this one is. Salam. Why don't you get some um, evidence? Just coming in and just chatting nonsense. It's not compulsory if you're a Muslim, you know. You don't have to talk twaddle. Right, it's true, Bloodfire. All right, give me one second. Excluded rifling for Christians and such like Sammy. Sammy's like, I know, he's giving me the eyeballs because of the cigarette. I haven't got my electric one. I haven't got my electric one, Dad. How much people's online in general? Not just like in general, how much people? Normally this will get about a thousand views by the end of the day. Oh, Adnan is, sorry, two seconds. Adnan's here wearing some proper African gear that he, that he borrowed off of Mo Hijab when they was in Ghana that time. Ah! But anyway, let's do this quick video with this guy. Hold on. Just feel free to chat among yourselves. Oh, I'm on 37. Hang on, I have to plug my phone in. Oh. All right. I'm so sorry to keep you waiting, mate. One minute. No one knows the hour. That's what I'm saying. So I bet we better liven it up. I do know the hour the pub shuts. Just not when the son of man is coming back. All right, where's my charger? Oh, come on. I know I brought it out with me because I forgot it and then I went back and got it. If I showed you the absolute oh, crap that I carry about in this bag for no reason whatsoever. Got it. Now I've got to find the wires. That's it. Right, sorry, where were we? Look at my hair. Oh my gosh. Right, hopefully that will counteract it going down too much, but if it all just cuts out, then you know why. But it's plugged in, but it's on 30 something percent. Thank you, Craw. Right. That dude's hat, man. Oh, it says Jerusalem, it's not Jesus. Right. Let's go. Oh. Right. Testing, 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 testing. Okay. Right, so let's just wait for this guy. Right, I'm ready when you are. You're going to step over it? This is getting camera from all angles. Okay, so did, did you have anything particular you wanted to discuss? Is this your first time? Yeah, it's my first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you find the open air asylum at the moment? <laughs> that really is. No, no, I've been there uh, uh, over the years. You know, I'm a Londoner, but I haven't been here for a long time. So okay. You know what I mean? so, and was it more political when you come before, or was it always similar? Same, but yeah, it seems to have a more of a religious edge. At the moment. You noticed. <laughs> Yeah, just ever so slightly. So what is, did you come to speak or just mainly to Yeah, mainly, I was going to speak, I'm taking it out and willing to speak. Nice, and what's your, like, chosen 
topic of mastermind, as it were? Well, I'm just spreading the word of Morpheus, the wisest man on the planet's head. That's You're spreading your own word? Yeah, of Morpheus, the wisest man on the planet's head. I reckon, well, potentially prophets all start off small, but what is your, what are your wise words for us? Um, Anything, like, are you advancing anything on Jesus' wisdom? Or are you kind of sticking in the objective morality kind of paradigm? Like, what are you saying? It's an amalgamation of the best in. Do you find any best in Islam? Good answer. Well done, the man's not a liar. Ha! <laughs> That's it. I all, think that's all, a no. All, all prophets so all Yeah, but he ain't a prophet. All scholars, all... Yeah, he ain't a scholar. Well, he, a, an illiterate Bedouin can't really be called a scholar. And the Bible says that anyone who comes with a gospel other than this one, or a Jesus other than this one, uh, is to be accursed. And Jesus himself says, this is the law and the prophets up to John. And from that time on, like, that's done. And now the kingdom is being preached. So there are no more prophets as in... Islam. It's a I just find it amazing um, the belief system of man and mankind and the whole Jesus thing and you know we, we, we've got selective memory and cognitive dissonance and stuff like that. It's just it's amazing. But then, Why do you want to put down Muslim and play up Christianity? I'll tell, tell you what. I'll tell you what. In Jesus' name. It doesn't matter whether they did it in I mean, Jesus' name. But no, if they, no, no, let me ask under you. The religion, well, let me, under the religion. Under the religion. spoke a lot. I'm just well, I'm, well, I'm going to counter yeah. that because if they're quoting the Bible, then that's wrong. But if they're just saying they're Christians and coming with some madness, that's not my bag to defend it. You see what I'm saying? Roman Catholic. I'm not a Roman Catholic. No, I'm just saying Roman Catholic. Whatever church denomination. Yeah, but whatever. are they using Nice yeah, but they're not going from the Bible, is my point. Church people, they're Whereas, people, they're representative. They can't pick and choose selective and all that. You can. Which discrimination, the denomination that you're talking about. No, you can. If you go by the Bible, you can. There's a lot of silliness and ridiculousness with all religions. Okay, and now I'm going to counter all of that. Yeah. If you can use and, and your... I'm not, I'm not necessarily on to sort of like... Defend Islam. Uh, you sound a bit like it. Defending Islam. You did. You said, why are you here to put down Islam? As an example, because you were stuck yeah, on yeah, that. Yeah. It's not just Islam. I, I Let me put it to you plainly. All religions got something, and Excellent. all religions got some ridiculousness. As yeah, well. I'm the, I, I, don't, I don't say that all relig no religions are without a grain of truth in them. Obviously, if what anything says Jesus Peter Paul. No. What is he? What do you mean, what is he? He is my God. No, I'm going to counter your point. I have no idea. So I care about... Yes, I care about the colour of his uh, blood, not his skin. So, and and the Bible says neither Jew nor Gentile, so he cares. Well, you all over the place. Stupid, stupid but, I, oh. right, well, let me finish, let me yeah, counter your two points yeah. now. In Japan, Jesus is Japanese. You'll be amazed to hear. In some African countries, he's a black uh, Jesus. So it's not about the externals. It really it is, ain't. It's about the, the inner man. The sort of like what you mean in, in white Western societies? All, all well, it would be white then, wouldn't it? The world. It doesn't matter to me. That's not the Bible. No, 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 not to you in general. Well, I just answered you. No, no, it's no, irrelevant to me. To you. What is it? Well, you just answered. What is it? It's not people... stuff. Stuff. Just Well, about I'm trying Japan. to answer your Islam well, you thing. About Japan with the color because you started asking me what color is Jesus. In Japan, it's Japanese. The majority of time. In time. Majority of time. What color is it? Depends whether you live in Japan or not. The majority of the time, in most parts of the world, what color is it? In the most white parts, it will be white, and in the most Japanese and Chinese and Asian. Like it like is that. like that. Anyway, that's irrelevant to my doctrine. It doesn't say so in the Bible. The Bible is clear that his appearance was of no surprise. Let me finish my point. It was of no uh, noteworthy. It wasn't. Uh, it wasn't like they were going. Oh my God! Look at that purple geezer walking along. No one cared enough because he must have blended in because he was of the tribe white. He was of the tribes. He was an Israelite. Judah. So, the, but he was an Israelite. So now back to the Quran and the paedophilia and the Catholicism. I will answer it. I'll just do it to the camera. So the point is, because I'm tired and I was about to have a cigarette. So the point is that if you can justify paedophilia from your holy scripture, I'm not you. Pedophiles and all that in them, though. How do we know so that pedophiles have not infiltrated the church? The so schools have a look. I will. I will. Your, I will. Your, your don't try and come here and tell my priest. No, but the priest. No, 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 no. So how do we know? The priest is significant. I hear that. You don't hear nothing. I hear that. And you do hear that. Are you talking about grooming gangs? You must be. You surely. The imam's job is to go and sleep with a woman if she wants to get divorced so she can go back to the man. You don't. I don't think you'd really like grasp the context. My point is. 
schools, hospitals, places where there are vulnerable people attract paedophiles into their ranks. Doesn't mean that the person's a born teacher or a real life priest, if you see what I'm saying. If you're a nonce, you want to work in a nursery. If you're a paedophile, you might want to go and work in a children's hospital. You might want to be Jimmy Savile. You might want to work in an industry where you've got power and they're subjugated. And therefore, the Catholic Church, I can well believe, has been infiltrated by paedophiles to some extent because they will not find it in the scripture and therefore they are not of me. Whereas Catholics are of me because they are in Christ with me. Is Jesus real? Yes. What's the proof? The, the, the top of Torah? Flavius, no, Flavius Josephus, Tacitus. They are historians, Jewish historians who had no reason to lie. The Roman transcripts of the crucifixion. Yes, no reason to lie because they were Jews. They didn't really like Jesus. That's it. I've got extra. I'm going to make a video. I'm going to give you my link because I promised them earlier. I'm going to make a video proving the existence of Jesus without any Bible whatsoever. Because there are Roman transcripts of uh, conversations between governors. There's the actual uh, pilot is referenced as the one who so condemned him. going on that road. So he's, he's, it's real that his mum got pregnant by the Holy Spirit. He, so now we're changing it. He really existed. Yes. Pardon? He no, really what, 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 existed. The question I just asked you about the pregnancy. I believe that, yes. Right, right, you believe Well, there were no hospitals at the water. time. I believe that, there yes. There were no what hospitals? There were no hospital records to go by in uh, Bethlehem. So you mean... In, in the regards to what? In the the, in, the uh, miraculous birth. The angel, you asked me, did that happen? I'm saying, yeah, but I can't go to his... Oh, I don't know if I can, actually. Maybe, maybe. Uh, Josephus spoke about... A miraculous nature, yeah, and so did Pilate, I think. Yeah, those 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 deeds um, were recorded. Yeah, some of them. You know the funny thing is, but like, we should, we, we, in some respects, I don't want to battle you like this because it should be of the same sort of. Even Muslims, even Buddhists, I never hear anyone say that Jesus, what a wrong man. Never. They say he's a great moral teacher. That's he's not God, but he's a good so guy. So what does Jesus sort of like want us to do? He What's wants us to love our, love our, these are his two commandments. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul and strength and love your neighbours as yourself. And he says, and in these... And in that, love your neighbour as yourself, that encompasses the entirety of the old law, all 613 laws, ordinances and commandments, and it love covers a multitude of sins. So if you do this for him, that's what he wants you to do. That's it, love is what he wants you to do. And that's where the hippie thing comes along. But it doesn't mean love as in like or approve. Because if my child becomes a murderer, I still means, love him. It means like love as in what? Yeah. It means love as in rebuke. If you've got a child, I don't, I don't need to know your personal business, but I have got a child. And if, if she turned, come to me and said uh, she's murdered someone, I don't stop loving her. But I, I wanted to do, I don't know about the right thing, but I want to help her. I don't really care at that moment in time about the victim because I don't know them. I love so my daughter. Rebuke. You're going to rebuke yes, daughter. yes, of course. Right. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to tell her, don't put your fingers that. in the plug socket. Don't uh, blast. It don't, uh, whatever is harmful to her in the long run, I don't want her to do it, but I'm going to do it with love. I'm going to do it because I love her. Who else do you appreciate in the world? What, you mean historical figures? Yeah, or normal people. Who else do you appreciate? Because I don't understand the... My friends, um, my And you've got fellow. no other heroes, like Oprah Winfrey or anything like that. Uh, I'm not really into like grooming and, and satanic stuff, oh, but yeah, um, yeah. Well, okay. Yeah, yeah, so, no, nothing. Like to, yeah, nothing, yeah, to, nothing to do yeah, with yeah, um, yeah. like mainstream or Hollywood. No. Yeah. I, okay. So, at the moment, uh, or I don't know about currently, but maybe the women of the suffragette movement. I've got a lot of you know the one who uh, Emmeline Pankhurst, the one who chained herself to the railings for them. They went to Holloway. They got uh, false fed. They went on starvation. So the other women in the future could have equality. So I appreciate that even though I'm not a left winger like I don't mean equal out time I mean equal opportunity are you a feminist? no I'm a Christian no but you might be a Christian feminist I'm no mistaken. I don't need to be because God has already so told you Jesus yeah, no, no, no. yeah no but I appreciate that in the society that she was in women didn't get a fair crack at a whip. Now, it's so good to be a woman that even men are trying to get in on the act, saying their name's Susan, and everyone has to tiptoe around them and say they look pretty when they are blatantly got testicles on the show while they're telling little kids' stories in libraries. So Jesus ain't a problem in this scenario. It's a lack of... I'm, no, I'm not, not a nice not person. Not I've person. tried. No, I don't believe anyone's one. No. No. no, but with the Bible, no. my religion, no. my faith no. teaches no. me. I'm going to ask you why. No, you said no, but yeah, the I don't necessarily need spirit. to know why. The no. fruits of the spirit are peace, patience, kindness, love, mercy, goodness, something, something. <laughs> not, not memory. <laughs> but 
without those things, the Bible says that there is not one good. Not one. And you know that in your own heart. I know I'm not a good person. I know it. The Bible seems to be religion also creates the, the, the worst kinds of people who is well. They're zealots, so I can't answer for them. They're not of me. That's amazing. You think that Jesus can't never commanded anyone to kill. So anyone who's killing and saying it's down to Jesus, they're lost. It's amazing you think that you, 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 you can't be a good person without knowing all that. Well, Jesus is, pretty, well, Jesus is the Logos, and he, the Bible attests to that, and it's God free. And I know in my heart of hearts that without Christ, I ain't got no patience for no one. I don't care what they think. I, I, I'll just sit there and think, yeah, why don't you die? You know what I mean? Like, I have no decent thoughts going on because I'm a bitch, basically, like I am. Well, no, I've never yet, I've never met one single person who does an attribute. I mean, otherwise, what drives the, the, the same thing? You're condemning people for murdering in the name of religion, but that alludes to an objective morality outside yourself. Because you might think that there is a good reason to kill someone. You might say if someone's caught nonsense or if someone's caught stabbing a pregnant woman to death, they deserve it. You might say that. But objectively, we have to be measured by an outside standard. Otherwise, I can just say, well, it's Wednesday. To me, that means I can kill a homeless person. Look at the world and everything. Does, does it look like the world actually live in a about anything? Yes. You know, where do you see that? In my own life, my own testimony. No, but beyond that, like the testimony in general, of, the testimony like, like, of other people. The and all that, the separation yep. and the star I see, I see the suffering because I preach or I, I teach. I publicise regularly the, the genocide of Nigerians, for example, the Christians. There's an actual genocide going on. Tens of thousands in the last 10 years. Wait up of being killed for, for confessing Jesus. That's their only crime. So all this Black Lives Matter nonsense, these black people don't matter at all one bit, not even to the people who make out they matter. And I see that in my scripture it says, pray for those who curse you, bless those who hate you, pray for your persecutors. So I don't see anything in my religion of this. I'll tell you where I am with all of this. Right? Go on. Religions, religions done this thing. It's helped out to some degree. It's pretty, it's, 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 some degree, we stopped infanticide in Rome. It helps balance out the human personality. He's going for it. I'm worried about the talking me. Well, you're <laughs> you're being a black man without due care and attention, so you better watch yourself. <laughs> um, anyway, it's all. Um, um, you think it's had its day and it's all done now? What would you replace it with, though? What about this left wing well, nonsense? You, you, you have to wonder is it, is it cause more problems than. If it has, it's not a religion. You see what I'm saying? Like eugenics, yeah? You know the idea of you can uh, modify humans and kill off, uh, like, black babies, like the woman who's done Planned Parenthood. The point is that that science, in and of itself, is not evil. It's the heart of man that is wicked. So I can get something that is, you know, some cure for cancer, and I can turn it into crack summit. Do you know what I mean? Like, science can be used to benefit or to, to like, detriment. You can hop, skip and jump around everything. That ain't hopping and skipping. Science is amoral. You can choose something that kills babies or you can choose something that cures them of cancer. So I'm saying it's the human always who is at fault. Not the religion, not the science, the human interpretation now, of it. They do say the Ku Klux Klan and stuff use the Bible. Everybody uses the Bible. They might try, but I'd like to see them try with me. Have you heard that before? Yeah. Yeah, it's good, good, good. I'm glad yeah. you're honest. But once they, they the relative, says God the relative subjective kind Southern of thing. Baptist, uh, whatever they are, they're nuts. They can say it, but there's people walking about in the psychiatric hospital saying they're uh, like Francis of Assisi. They're not. He's just come out of a ridiculous statement about Mary Magdalene and ejaculation. I didn't come out with a statement. She did come out with a statement. This is the earliest Christian writing wrote. What did you just say? The earliest Christian. Anyway. Okay, here we go. The earliest Christians. You're on camera, by the way. I don't care. The earliest say you Christians care. are Pippinus of Salamis. What? The earliest Christians are what? Just because you Bro, I don't know. Bro, I'm free. All right, bye then. See you later, love. Right. Yeah, bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye, bye. I don't understand what you're saying. Jesus Take lessons. Excellent. They said you should now. It's right here. All right, see you later. It's written in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God bless you. Anyway. You nutter! What a loon! I don't care, he's a nutter! I don't 
I'm not believing you. I don't mind. You want to find me uh, more for uh, others? Put it up for um, stuff here, but it's going to be more for us. More for us. One more. Number four. No, no, no. Team. No. More. F-O-R. Yes. Oh, no, I didn't yeah, yeah. Come on, we're on YouTube. Uh, um, Instagram, everything, Twitter, you'll be finding that. All right, well, this is Soko Films and um, K Soko Films. Soldiers of Christ Online. It's an acronym, S-O-C-O. -O. If you put in S-O-C-O-F, the first one that comes up is Soko Films, I think. All right, anyway, I'm going to do a wrap-up. So we've got lunatic number one over this one, talking about semen, and I don't even know what, telling me, like, da -da -da, when he approached me, telling me move away because it's obviously medication time and no one has got to him yet and then this gentleman was very nice that's all right don't worry and then this um this guy came uh, came along morpheus i'm so sorry morpheus i love that film um yeah yeah no i'm waiting on my red pill and my blue pill anyway lawrence fishburne over here no i'm joking so anyway that was an all right conversation pretty like um uh, what's the word Oh, like grounded in beliefs that are not really able to be tested without kind of... I don't know, it's, it's good. This is one of his first few times here, so I appreciated that. And, yeah, I'm going to wrap it up and then uh, maybe hear more about semen and Jesus, apparently, which is disgusting. No, this... Some nut-nut. I don't know. Anyway, Charles is obviously so camera shy, it's embarrassing for him. He loves it like he wouldn't believe. I'm trying to, but I'm getting, like, filled He was just showing that semen. No, this... This guy, I, let me just wrap up. Okay, God bless. See you later. Bye bye. So, do you want to? So you're not answering the question. This and some dude, question. whilst I was, oh, so they're all still there. Hi. Do you want some, some, to real no, this is YouTube. Some guy came over and said, uh, can, No worries, nice to meet you. Um, can you just answer this guy? And this guy was screaming incoherently, but the guy who approached me said he's saying something disgusting about Sorry, the early Christians. We love you. Don't listen to that crap. So, don't drink semen. This is the Donald Semen Smooth. Why would you talk about drinking so semen, though? Well, now, you're all right. Anyway, it wasn't me. No, it was some Muslim. Anyway, that's that. So I've wrapped up. It's finished. I'm still live streaming. I don't want to talk about it. I'm, I don't know. So I'm not. No. Now, thank you, but I'm going to really thank you to stop saying it near me. Thanks, though. And you're fine with it. You're okay with it. And that tells you, bro. Do you think the word prick is swearing? Could I, like, attribute it to a needle, some sort of syringe of, like, nastiness? I'm not sure. Anyway, let's have a cigarette. You will know them by their fruits, and a lot of them will be fruits, John, in the uh, East London sense of the word. I swear it's nearly gin and tonic time. Surely. Surely. Oh, Bob's still going on. I mean, yay, Bob. <laughs> That's true, Harriel. And I love that it's in capitals as well. That is true. It's just it's kind of full up. It's You know what? It's the spirit of Antichrist. And it's something to do with sexualized talk to women as well. And I ain't, this ain't my first rodeo, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm not shy even. You know, I worked in a field where these things, not a real field. But yeah, I've like, throughout my adult life, I'm not easily embarrassed. And I don't feel embarrassed when they do it. I feel embarrassed for them that they're just showing them themselves up on camera it's embarrassing it's embarrassing they're not even uncle omar hi ivan oh i'm sorry to hear that but while you're getting it and you're saving us from it so think of your suffering that rain for jesus think of it that way if i could get to preach any jesus if i weren't talking about blooming twaddle man absolute twaddle this is why I prefer it when like hijab and that's here because it takes the dairy off if you know what I mean. Obviously dairy is probably haram but it's definitely not kosher. Right. Alright. Okay, let's oh I just gotta have a ciggy but I can't let me see what my battery said. Oh I'm alright for the minute. Oh, who's got a real phone? Go and just walk past Adnan and say hello. Oh, he's approaching Bob. You alright, Adnan? Oh, he don't love me no more. He just blanks me, but I think he's on a mission. 
looks like he is. Right. Look at that outfit, people. That is what you call Dalston chic. Um, I'm looking around. Overthrowing the papacy, I think he's talking about. <laughs> Hi, Andy, you're right. What have we got today? Hold on, everybody. Hold on to your hats. My name is Andy Pandy, Algerian. Uh, I've never come before. This is Algeria. I know. I'm Kay. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> uh, Algeria British Business Council. I remember you discussing something similar. Yeah, on the 30th last week. of June on Zoom. There is a meeting. Uh, there is something about the old company, uh, oil law. Oh, so, I, I remember. They're going to adopt British as the language as well and stuff like that you're telling uh, me. And also new companies, British companies and American companies. So I wish all the best That's to brilliant. British people would come to Algeria. Yes, and Algeria, then, everybody. Yes, please. Thank you. Yes, no worries. Good luck, Andy. And the thing is, I just want a smoker, really. Yeah, that's pretty true, Mohammed. For the hundred years, go back from the orders of people. Oh gosh, that's where Adnan was going. Even though you'll be amazed to realise, I think I'm right in saying this, that it's against the park bylaws to do that. But uh, who am I to judge? Well, someone who knows the park bylaws, potentially. Right, I'm gonna, I can't find anyone with a cigarette, so I'm gonna have to roll one. I would sit on, see, I could have sat on um, Usman's chair, but. Uh, ah. It's not pointing at you. you right? Yes, I'm much better now. I met your friend. Oh my god, I'm so. No. I didn't know. Not, well, whatever. Everybody, can you all see me? Hi, Mum, can you hear me? I've had the most nutty day. I've just been called all the... Anyway, if I seem like I'm on a ship at the moment, it's because I've given the camera to possibly the worst person to hold it. Yes. Because of a certain... Let's not go there. Anyway. But still here. Jesus is still good. You even will though not they be a cafe that knows more stuff And they can hear you more than they can hear me at the moment, Mr. Mike. I'm taking it back, I promise. Give me two seconds. Yeah, I'm just enjoying please. your discomfort. Sorry. So unchristian of me. Yeah, you will not meet someone right. that knows more than Phil. Right. He is... Oh, oh sorry, I, I didn't mock earlier, but I just have to point out that there was like the Catholic and the skilled of like... Maybe they can answer some of my questions, because I've got this Catholic friend, I've told everyone on the live stream about my Catholic friend. Doesn't seem to answer anything, just sends me like really long videos that put me to sleep and they don't really answer anything. And I watch them because I'm like a good girl, obviously not in a biblical sense, but I'm pretty good at that. And then you send them like a 10 minute thing about like, say for example, I don't know, the solars, explained beautifully by one of Protestantism's biggest advocates, this chick, nothing, not a sausage, literally. Church of, Church of K. The, the Church of K is within the Protestant. Don't, I shouldn't have said that now, they'll be asking for membership. No, I'm joking. Anyway, chaps and chapesses, I've done two hours 19. What do you want from me, people? I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop now because of my battery and I need to do some persecutions. I am that chick, and it. I don't know what that means, Mohammed Tamdan. I hope it's a blessing. I don't know. All right then, I'll see you all later. Lots of love, and um, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. All right, and I'll put that thingy of me and Bob up hopefully tonight. But I want to let the members see it first, but you all understand. Join. All right, lots of love. Bye.